The Garrison Heritage Breakfast and Tourism monthly excursion to a section of Barbados's UNESCO World Heritage Property, Historic Bridgetown and its Garrison. It is organized by the Ministry of Culture in collaboration with the Hilton Barbados Resort, the Barbados Museum and Historical Society and the National Cultural Foundation. We need to show that we can put some money back into the economy and this tour is meant to do that. It will offer people a unique view of the garrison. They will hear the stories and the histories of the garrison that dates back to 1700s. And also, the tour ends at Historic Charles Fort, which is also part of the heritage property, with a delicious Bajan breakfast, a beautiful ambiance. The people who have gone on this tour so far have been saying to us they quite enjoy the store and it is something unique and something different, something that is generally needed in Barbados. The tour visits Clock Tower, the ancient cannons, the St. Anne's Fort, Brigade House and the Barbados Museum and Historical Society. Walkers will also visit the sites where the flag of Barbados was raised and where the island's only living national hero, Sir Garfield Sobers, was knighted. For me, it's to give Barbadians and visitors a new experience. The experience of walking um, the World Heritage property around the garrison, getting to know more about the site, its use over the last 300 years, and then coming for a really relaxing, fantastic Barbadian breakfast within one of the buildings within the historic property here at the fort at Needham's Point at the Hilton. And I think that's an experience that you can't get anywhere else. And the bit that looks like a pagoda that's out in the sea, that actually served as the mini cruise terminal. get that almost one-on-one -on -one personal touch in understanding what that history is. We get to walk in the buildings, we get to walk in the streets and within the streetscapes that were created by our ancestors and we walk that every day we don't really pay much attention but on the days like this we get a more you know hands-on understanding of what that history is and hopefully we get greater understanding of its preservation and we will then become in fact guardians of our heritage. Several industry stakeholders were invited to be a part of the first tour and they shared their views with us. I really enjoyed myself, probably even more than I thought I was going to. It was the kind of tour where I thought, I've driven past these buildings so many times and never really understood the story behind them or understood um, some of the kind of complex uh, relationship between the different parts of the garrison and the history of Barbados itself. So it's wonderful to have had that brought to life and I think that would be important for all sorts of tourists who come here and for people who live here. The sites we, we visited this morning, I think it's very peculiar, very unique to your country and uh, it can help people, you know, go back to the old days, you know. And uh, I, it's, it's my idea that we, we could also, you know, let our embassy people, the staff people to join me to, you know, tour around especially those heritage sites to, in order to have a better understanding of this country. And uh, I, I think that if we have a Chinese delegation coming here, we can also you know, arrange this kind of tour for them. Well, we get a lot of Canadian tourists here. We get uh, around 75,000 a year. They come to enjoy the, the sun and the sand and the warm Bajan hospitality. But I think there's a, a room to have them uh, see more of the history of the island. I think they'd be very interested in seeing some of the, the, uh, the long history here and some of the buildings and the Canadian connections uh, here as well. And you can see that in historic Bridgetown and, and the garrison. This month's Garrison Heritage Breakfast and Tour will be held on Sunday, June 29th. Walkers are asked to meet at the Hilton Barbados and depart for the two-hour trek at 7.30 a.m. Interested persons can purchase their tickets at www.ticketpile.com or contact the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Youth at 310-2700. We welcome your feedback on our programs. You may email your comments to bgisfeedback at barbados.gov.bb may also view our website at www.gisbarbados.gov.bb or subscribe to our YouTube channel, The BGIS. <laughs>